morning guys if you're following on from the previous video i'm still in scotland uh parked up last night in quite a nice spot actually um it was next to a main road but we were so tired i think i just went off heavy and i didn't really hear anything woke up once at about 20 to 4 but i just turned back over it's quite quiet and lovely to be honest it's six o'clock in the morning so um plan is just to chill now for a few hours and get to Glenfinnig Viaduct which is literally just down the road. Uh, the van setup is still looking very very basic but we move it was comfy so that's all that matters so I will now get dressed and then I will show you where I parked up last night. So this is the spot I stayed at last night. A lot of midges, that's why I tried to just stay in the van for as much as well I possibly could. I think last night I tried to watch a YouTube video and then that's all I remember. I don't even know what time I fell asleep. Yeah, wasn't too bad to be fair. Glenfinnig is about 10 minutes that way. So, I was if in an hour and wait to stay last night then. I finally got here and I'm like, bugger it, I'm just going to stay here. It looks nice enough. And it was, to be fair, so. The van is all back up in van mode, as you can see. Bit messy, but we move. When it's converted, hopefully be a bit more organised. Um, but as you can see, it's a dingy, dark, overcast day. Don't mind it if it doesn't rain. Um, it was okay weather yesterday anyway, so it is what it is. The last time I was in Glenfinnig, it was like this, so, um, but this time the train is actually running, which is a good thing, you know? So here's one for you Harry Potter fans like me. Uh, it's a little time after the clip you've just seen. But I've just driven a bit further down the road from where I was. And we're now at Dumbledore's grave. Um, I wanted to come down here last year, but my drone was broken there, if you remember. So I couldn't get a lot of the drone shots. Uh, I was quite cut there. They worked the Glen thing then. And then that was it. Um, so I'm just going to get the drone up now because it isn't very windy yet. And I'll just see what I can get. I need to practice with the drone more. Hopefully, it'll stay like this because it's still quite nice considering. Might have a drop of rain. I don't know. Got a coat in the car just in case. I thought it's Scotland, it's like well. The weather can just change like that. But oh, wow, look at them views. Can really see why. They use Scotland as a backdrop for the Harry Potter franchise because it's just absolutely breathtaking. Even on a day like this. Even on a day like this. So guys, just got to uh, Glenfinnan. All paid for the parking. And as you can see, I am back at Hogwarts, uh, the Black Lake. Can't remember the name of the lock, but this time I'm actually here for the season of the Jacobite train going over the viaduct. Car parks, there's quite a few cars in there considering to what it was like when I was here last year, but the train's actually on. So I'm going to quickly get some photos over here and um, get up there and get my spot ready for 20 to 11. 
I had a little uh, idea. So when the train does come, got my tripod, gonna film it on my GoPro, get some handheld shots of the camera and hopefully do it the first time. Um, then the plan is to probably go into Fort William, Morrison's, get an airbrush, get something to eat, and then have a look from the plan there. I think I may stay another night and set my alarm for really early in the morning and get home in the morning. Oh, here she is. Welcome to Hogwarts. Do, 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 do. Ah. I've been saying it for ages. I'm so glad I finally just said, yep, I gotta go and I gotta get it done. I'm just so happy to be back. I'm gonna go and get some photos now. Forgive me if I'm saying it wrong, but I think it's called Lock Shield. And Glenfinnan is absolutely beautiful. The stage like this is gonna make for a Moody shot at the viaduct, which is there. So good to be back. Look at that scenery, absolutely magical. Oh. Ooh, there's a train going over. But it's not the train. That still would have been cool to get up to though. Ready? Here it is, but that's the train for Muggles. So the Jacob ride train comes at around 10.40 apparently. It's only just gone nine o'clock, but the only reason I'm coming up now is one, so I can get a good spot because I should imagine it's going to be rammed up yeah. Two, I can set everything up. And then three, I can look at different angles, get some photos of the viaduct and just chill out for a little bit. I always like to be well organised. So here it is. I think that's a cracking ruin point. Got the GoPro set up. I'm just about to have a look to see if the view is all okay on it. And then it's just a waiting game, but I don't mind chilling, getting some photos. Like I said, deciding whether I want to use a zoom lens or a long lens. I'm going to have a look at all of that now on. That's why I've come a bit earlier. Right then, so I have a new standing spot and I figured everything out. So. GoPro's for there, ready for YouTube, with a bit of luck. I'm gonna, my phone is gonna go there, portrait mode, for Instagram and TikTok, portrait mode, sorry. I've then got my camera handheld. I'm gonna go with a zoom lens, just because, uh, no, I'm going with my wide angle lens, just because the zoom lens is just, it's too close, basically. There's plenty of midges about, I'm going to attack like mad. It is half nine, so I have an hour before the train gets here.
So I'm back in Fort William after that. That was crazy. I said I'd go last year if you watched last year's video. I did go to the viaduct, but the train was off. So I couldn't see the train going over the viaduct last year. But if you're a Harry Potter fan, that is a must do. I can't wait to look over the photos. I'm now going back to this old boat to get some drone shots. Gonna pop into Morrison's for some drinks and stuff at night. McDonald's and then I don't know where to go for from there because today is going a lot quicker than yesterday did but in all fairness I was up 30 odd hours yesterday so yeah that's a bit of a mental one um so I'll catch up with you guys again in a bit so I'm nearly at the boat I'm wondering what she's like after a year I wouldn't 100% with my photos here so that's why I'm back here and trying again we'll see how it goes So I just got speaking to a lovely German couple that are over here for two weeks road trip in in their in a camper van that they hired and I pretty much now have the place to myself. It is so nice to see it again. Um, got some drone shots as well and generally just having a chill now and taking it all in. I like my photos this time. I made sure I um, got some. I was I done a few long exposures and it's nice to be back. She's a big old girl, isn't she? And as you can see, as I've stated a few times, there it is. Ben Nervous. It's basically become a la landmark now, this thing. Huh? Seen some new locations, been to some old ones, but it was well worth the trip coming back up here. So once again, we're back here. All of this was used in the Braveheart movie for the village at the start here is the river that runs along it and they do a few scenes down i'm pretty sure this was the bit of the wedding and it is the famous landscape in the background incredible i've come back here because i think i'm gonna get a drone up in the air now so right so a little change of plan um i'm visiting a place called stealth falls it is a massive waterfall if you're wondering. Yes, it was in Harry Potter. Um, I think this is gonna be the last location of the day for me, just cause I am leaving early in the morning to get on a decent time tomorrow. And I'm quite exhausted from the time that I've been driving and the sheer amount of walking and stuff I've been doing. So I kind of just took a U-turn on doing the drone stuff at the brave art location i'm not really bothered i've been told by kirsty shout out to her to come here and take the drone with me because apparently it's really good shots but this waterfall is for the harry potter fans it is used for where the quidditch pitch is um so it's literally the waterfall right by the quidditch pitch. so i don't know how far of a walk it is but i've been told there's an easy walk so i hope it is so after walking what felt like forever, 
I could have walked right to the end and there was a car park or I could have drove and then so I've got quite a bit to walk back to but but I do think I'm on the right tracks because I did get a little bit lost and there's no phone signal to check Google Maps so hopefully we're heading to the right place now I'm absolutely sweating I probably look a state this walk, just because I'm tired, was hard on me. But look, you can see the waterfall, Stealth Falls. Nice, not too far to go now. So this is the location for the Quidditch pitch in the Harry Potter movies. And that is usually in the background of where the Quidditch pitch would be. So. I don't know if it would be around here somewhere or it doesn't really matter if it rains because it's a waterfall so it makes a good uh, photos look at that wow stunning I can't wait to uh, get over there and get some photographs so I think that's where the credit pitch would be and then that's a waterfall. Absolutely stunning. There is a little river in place. So I'm going to see if I can get over. It's one of them rope bridges, but I got a lot of stuff on me and I don't fancy doing it. I might just get a photo from by sure anyway, because you can't really get many photos close up by the looks of it. So it's better from afar. It sure is stunning, you can see why they used it as a movie location, look at that. Wowza. Yeah, that's the dry route I was uh, telling you about. I don't think I'll be doing that, as you can see it's literally just a little rope. And you have two things to hold on to, uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. And then you're at it again. And now I'm off back to the van. Yeah, that was worth the walk, as you can see it in the background. What a beautiful location. Um, looking forward to getting back to the van now. That is probably sadly going to be the last location of this road trip as I park up now when I find a lead. But I have no idea where I'm parking up yet. Um, I will be setting my alarm for about two, three o'clock in the morning. And then I should touch wood get to my house at about 12 o'clock, so dinner time. It's about nine and a half hours without traffic. I probably stop once or twice to go to the toilet. So you're talking probably close to 10 hours home. But it's all well worth it. It's all well worth it. I've probably got about maybe a 45 minute walk to the car now or van I should say I'm looking forward to getting a drink because I forgot to bring one with me um but I'll see you back at the van now so I'm at my park up for a night it's okay it's not the best but it'll do because I'm leaving at like half two three o'clock in the morning anyway and wow just looking back on a trip it is incredible this felt a hell of a lot longer than what it is because I left 10 o'clock Tuesday night, got to Glasgow, I think about 5 o'clock Wednesday morning, which was yesterday, and yeah, it was cool to meet up with Kirsty, cool to get some locations done, you know, have some food, get to know each other, it was the first time us meeting up, 
after knowing each other on TikTok for like two years. And some of the locations today, the majority of them were Harry Potter locations. I didn't mean for it to be like that, but what a sick day. So we started off with Dumbledore's Grave, Glen Finnig, or Loch Shiel, I think, which is the Black Lake, Glen Finnig Viaduct, then stopped for McDonald's and Morrison's to grab some drinks and food in McDonald's. The Braveheart location. And then Stealth Waterfalls. Oh, wow. Absolutely incredible. Scotland, you've stolen my heart once again. I'm absolutely in love with the Highlands. If you are new to my videos, Please consider subscribing for more videos like this, van life content, adventures. I'm converting the van soon, so videos will also be on there. And generally just stuff about my life. I'd highly appreciate it if you did subscribe. Can everybody please smash the like button, leave a comment down below, and I will see you all soon. Peace.